Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In part one of the pet shop tutorial, I told you guys if you appreciated my hard work in editing that video, you would give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much because you all came through. I got 66 likes and I feel very appreciated, so thank you. And in return, here is part two of the pet shop game. Don't forget to subscribe. Here we are back in our project from part one with our first pet and two people to go with it. Now we need to make three more of these sets. Start by duplicating pet one since the other two people will have to reference it. It will automatically name itself pet two. The variables we already have here are pet one variables, so let's make some new ones. We need a variable called pet two name and pet2 type. Great! We also have a reset pet1 message here, so let's change that to reset pet2 instead by creating a new message. Now that we have all of those, go through and change those variables by using the drop downs or right clicking. Change the price of it to 300 so it costs more to buy this spot. Then change the requirement from 99 to 299 and have it decrease your money by 300 instead of 100. Once you finish that, you're all done with pet 2. Time to move on to your customers. Start by duplicating customer 1. It will automatically change it to customer 1 of pet 2, but if not, make sure that you name all your sprites correctly for organization. Inside, we have the same problem where the variables refer to pet 1 and customer 1. Let's make some new ones. We'll need person1 pet2 talking and person1 pet2 offer. Good. Now let's go start replacing the variables. When you get to the offer part, make the range for the random number higher since the price of the pet is higher. I put mine as random 200 to 450, but you can use any number you want. Now continue replacing. Then go back and check your work. Once you're done with that, we need to make the second customer for this pet. To do that, don't duplicate a person from pet 1, duplicate the one you just made. This will save you time because where it used to say pet 1, it says pet 2, so that's something you won't have to change. As usual, create your new variables, then replace them in the code. In the end, you should have a lot of variables. To check your work, you should have a pet name and pet type variable for each pet, and an offer and talking variable for each person. You should have six people when you finish, and four pets. Don't forget to change the price for each pet. This is the finished product! You can see this by viewing the inside of the example project linked below. It has comments on each block of code to explain it to you in depth. Anyway, I have all 10 sprites here, and all the variables I need. Let's test it out! Start by clicking the flag, then go into your variables and give yourself $2,000 so that you can start testing out the pets that cost more money. And if we go into full screen, we can now see that we have $2,000. So we're going to start by buying the pet that costs $300. I'm going to choose a chick and I'm going to name it Lucy. So a customer is already coming in. Now I have two customers and I can buy a new hedgehog and I'm going to name this one Russell. So, so far there's four people coming in. I've just received one offer and I got that one. Now there's two more people coming in who are trying to buy Russell and I can turn down an offer or come back to it if I want to, but they're both going to stay until the pet is sold. Now let's try buying the most expensive one that costs $1,000. I'm gonna buy a rabbit and I'm gonna name it Peter, like Peter Rabbit. So there's one customer. 
So far, neither of them are offering me more than $1,000, so I got a little bit of bad luck there, but thankfully, since I gave myself $2,000, I'm still in the green. Looks like it works! I can buy a pet in any spot, customers will come in and make offers, and I can sell it to them. Awesome job, everyone! Before we go, I wanted to give a big shout out to at Cosmo Gaming on Scratch. He is an amazing scratcher. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to see my next tutorial. Bye!